What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about Tavon Austin. Um, this was a guy who we technically got in the sixth round. Um, we gave up our, one of our sixth round draft picks uh, to, well now it's LA, but I was going to say St. Louis, uh, for this guy. Um, so, we got rid of Ryan Switzer, you know, um, like I said, I'm not happy about it. And a lot of y'all were calling me out, actually, on uh, the Ryan Switzer trade, saying that um, Jihad Ward did not have a great first season. Um, so I was wrong about that. Just want to apologize in advance right now. Uh, but let's talk about Tavon Austin. Um, I feel like he's going to be our punt and kick return guy because uh, that's because that, that's what he did uh, in St. Louis or L.A. St. Louis, whatever for the Rams. Um, let's talk about him real quick. So he's 5'8". So he's around the same size as Ryan Switzer. He's uh, 179. Uh, when he went to the combine, he was lighter. He got a little bit heavier. I think he put on more muscle mass. Um, at the combine, he ran a 4.3440. Uh, he did 14 reps of bench press. Uh, he had a 32-inch vertical jump, a 120-inch uh, broad jump, and a 401 20-yard shuttle. So... I mean, he's he's fast. I think maybe he might have gotten a little bit faster because it looks like he, uh, when he when he's on the field, it looks like he runs faster than a four three four. Um, but all in all, his career stats: he has uh, uh, one thousand six hundred eighty nine receiving yards, uh, one thousand two hundred thirty eight rushing yards, uh, one thousand eight hundred and seven return yards, and twenty four total touchdowns. So, the guy is good. I mean, L.A. is not known to always have the best of players. And when they do have good players, they are kind of known to be a little bit on the lax side about training them. And now I'm not saying the Cowboys are the best in the world, uh, no, because obviously the Eagles are the best in the world right now. The Cowboys are going to make a comeback here soon. But Tavon Austin, I'm just getting, I'm just getting excited about this guy because... I can see, because the way that our team is shaping up to be, um, basically we got rid of a lot of the older guys. Uh, Jason Witt retired. We didn't get rid of him. He did that on his own. We got rid of Dez. We got uh, we traded Ryan. Ryan was a rookie last year, but, I mean, you know, we got rid of him. And, uh, hold on. <coughs> Ooh, man. Allergies, man, are killing me. Um... But, you know, we got rid of the older guys. You know, we uh, we let it go of our secondary. I mean, we drafted all new secondary. Um, there's a couple, of, and our O-line is uh, still veterans. It's always good to have veteran O-linemen in there. Uh, but Connor Williams, by the way, is going to be amazing. But we're not talking about him. And basically what we're doing is we're bringing in guys that are still young, still hungry. And uh, it's looking like it's going to be like another dynasty now. I know a lot of you guys are going to comment on here who aren't Cowboys fans and are going to say, oh, you're a typical Cowboys fan. Y'all always think you're going to go to the Super Bowl, blah, 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 whatever. But if you look in the 90s when the Cowboys were the dynasty, that's what they did. They got rid of all the older guys, brought in all new guys, and within three years of Jimmy Johnson being there, they went to the Super Bowl. And uh, they went. To, they won three Super Bowls in four years. We're the only team to ever do that. So, is Tavon Austin going to be the key player that we're missing? No, I don't think he is. But is he going to be an elite uh, punt and kick returner and maybe even a, an elite wide receiver? Yeah, I think he will be. So, I don't know, guys. I'm just I'm getting excited about him. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not just excited about him, but I'm excited about all, all of our new guys that are coming in. So, but may, I'm just... But I don't know. It's just something about him that I'm getting really excited about. I think it's because uh, Jared Goff, when he was when he was back there in the pocket, he would always call the end around play, and uh, he you see Tavon Austin coming out off the off the sideline right here, hike the ball, give it to him, and he was gone in the secondary before anyone could blink. He has blazing speed. He's pretty strong. He holds onto the ball pretty well. Uh, I don't know how many fumbles he had in his entire career over there uh, with the Rams, but uh, I do know this: uh, he's gonna be he's gonna be a superstar over here in Dallas. So, 
Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like if you guys like, and subscribe for more content like this. Uh, anyway, yeah, God bless you all. Peace.